Good morning, everyone. Welcome in my online classroom. I am Muhammad Sayyidu Jaman, Associate Professor and Chairman, Tourism and Hospitality Management, Muhammadpur Kendiya College, Dhaka. First of all, I would like to thank our Honorable Principal, Professor Sir Jafar Ali Sir, gives his permission and advices to conduct online classes. Students, I hope you all are well. Because of the COVID-19 breakout in the pandemic situation of the world, we are bound to stay at home, we are staying at home, but it does not mean we can see it ideal. We have to work for our next days. Today I will take your online class. I hope you all will give attention to my online class. I will take your online class on strategic management, BBA, fourth year, seventh semester, and the chapter five, and the chapter name, strategic analysis, and the topics is sort analysis. Now the question is being discussed. What is strategic management? Importance or necessity of strategic management? Porter's high forces model of competitive analysis briefly explain the value chains activities of an organization. This is the last question in this topics. What is strategic management? Or strategic management is a roadmap of an organization and they are short term, long term or mid term planning in this organization or strategic planning or forecasting in the properly then the decision is very nicely and finally close the relationship between the organization, employee management and government and jointly adopting in this activities then the decision is very nicely and finally closely relationship and the what is short analysis or short analysis is a study undertaken by an organization to identify its internal strength and weakness as well as its external opportunities and threat that is sort analysis and the strength weakness and opportunity and threat that is important factors in this analysis in broad sense sort analysis strength weakness opportunity and threat is a framework for identifying and analyzing the internal and external factors that can have an impact on the viability of a project product place or person some definition of sort analysis are mentioned below according to Albert Humphrey defined sort analysis is a strategic planning techniques used to help a person or organization identify the strength weakness opportunity and threat related to business of competition or project planning. According to Thomas J. Charmack, SORT stands for strength, weakness, opportunity and threat. This is a method of analysis of the environment and the companies standing in it. According to rural Quincy, SORT analysis is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive 
positions by identifying his strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. Finally, we can say that SORT analysis is a situation analysis in which internal strength and weakness of an organization and external opportunities and threat faced by it are closely examined to chart a strategy. SORT stands of strength, weakness and opportunity. So the business studies students have much more skill and scope from those side. And the next question, importance or necessity of sort analysis. First on identification of strength. Identification of strength. And the second point, identification of weakness. Identification of weakness. And the third point, identification of opportunities. And the fourth point, identification of threat. the fifth point, optimal use of resource. And the sixth point, survival and growth. And the seven point to learn long term business strategy. To plan long term business strategy. And the last one environmental scanning and decision making. and decision making environmental scanning and decision making that is the eight importance or necessity of sort analysis and the first one identification of strength identification of weakness identification of opportunities identification of threats and the fifth Optimum use of resource. Six, survival and growth. Seven, to plan long-term business strategy. And the last one or eight point number, environmental scanning and decision making. This is important or necessity of short analysis. The first one. Identification of strength strength of the business firm means capacity of the firm to gain advantage over its competitors 
analysis of internal business environment helps to identify strength of the firm after identifying the strength the firm must try to consolidate or maximize its strength by further improvement in its existing plans policies and resource and the next point identification of weakness weakness of the farm means limitations of the farm monitoring internal environment helps to identify not only the strength but also the weakness of the farm a farm may be strong in certain areas has many or may be weak in some other areas for further growth and expansion the weakness should be identified so as to correct them as soon as possible and the next point identification of opportunities a short analysis help to identify the opportunities in the market the firm should make every possible effort to grab the opportunities as and when they come and the next point identifications of threat it is important on necessity of short analysis business is subject to threat from competitors and various factors environmental analysis help them to identify threat from the external environment early identification of threat is always beneficial as it help to diffuse of some threat and the next point optimum use of resource that is the important necessity of short analysis proper environmental assessment helps to make optimum utilization of human natural and capital resource systematic analysis of business environment helps the farm to reduce wastage and make optimum use of available resource without understanding the internal and external environment resource cannot be used in an effective manner and the next point survival and growth systematic analysis of business environment help the farm to maximize their strength minimize the weakness grab an opportunities and diffuse threat the animals the farm of the survival and grow in the competitive business world and this next point to plan long term business strategy a business organization has short then in the short term and long term objectives proper analysis of environmental factors help the firm to frame plan and policies they could help in easy accomplishment of those organizational objectives without undertaking short analysis the firm cannot develop a strategy for business success in the areas of the organization and the next point or last point environmental scanning and decision making it is important of short analysis in an organization decision making is a process of selecting the best alternative from among various available alternatives a short analysis is an extremely important tool in understanding 
and undertaking and decision making in all situation of the business finally we can say that short analysis is a situation analysis in which internal strength and weakness of an organization and external opportunities and threat faced by it are closely examined in to chart a strategy so study of short analysis enables the firm to select the best optimum for the success and growth of the firm and the next question Porter's five forces model of competitive analysis. That is the important question in this chapter or topics. Porter's five forces model of competitive analysis. And the first one, threat of new entrants, threat of new And the second point, <coughs> bargaining power of suppliers. Bargaining power of suppliers. And the third point, bargaining power of buyers. Buyers. And the fourth point, threat of substitutes. And the last point, rivalry among existing competitors. among existing competitors that is the five forces model of competitive analysis and the first one threat of new entrants bargaining power of suppliers, bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitute, rivalry among existing competitors. That is forces five factors. Now the question is being discussed. Porter's five forces and analysis tool that use industry forces to determine the intensity of competition in an industry and its profitability level. Five forces model was created by Michael E. Porter in 1979 to understand how five key competitive forces are affecting in industry.
the forces determine an industry structure and the level of competition is that industry the stronger competitive forces in the industry are the less profitable it is an industry with low barriers to enter having few buyers and suppliers that Mart is substitute product and competitors will be seen as very competitive and not so attractive due to its low profitability. Then the threat of new entrants. This forces determine how easy it is to enter a particular industry. If an industry is profitability and there are few barriers to enter, revolution intensifies. Threat of new entrants is high when low amount of capital is required to enter a market and existing companies can do little to Retailed existing firms do not process patents, trademarks. There is no government regulation. Customer switching costs are low. There is low customer loyalty. Products are nearly identical. Economies of scale can be easily achieved. That is the threat of new entrants in the business organization. And the next point, bargaining power of suppliers. Strong bargaining power allows suppliers to sell higher price or low quality, low or raw materials to their buyers. The directly affected by the buying firm's profit because it has to pay more for materials. Suppliers have strong bargaining power when there are few suppliers but many buyers. Suppliers are large and forward integrate. Few substitute raw materials exist. Suppliers hold scarce resources. Cost of switching raw materials is specially high and the next point bargaining power of buyers buyers have the power to demand lower price or higher product quality from industry produce when their bargaining power is strong Lower price means lower revenue for the product, while higher quality product. Buyers extort strong bargaining power when buying is large quality or control, many access point to the final customer. Only few buyers exist. Switching cost to other suppliers are low. They threaten the two bag or integrate. There are many substitute buyers are price sensitive. In an organization. And the next point threat of substitute. The forces is especially threatening in buyers can easily find substitute product with attractive price or better quality when buyers can switch from one product or service to another with little cost. For example, to switch from coffee to tea does not cost anything, unlike switching from car to bicycle. That is threat for substitute. And the next point or last point, products says 
rivalry among existing competitors that is important uh, in the organizational activities of an organization. This force is the major determinant in how competitive and profitability an industry. In competitive industry, firms have to compete aggressively for a market share, whose result is low profit. Rivalry among competitors is intense when there are many competitors, exist barriers are high, industry of growth is slow or negative. Product are not different and can be easily substituted. Competitors are used of equal size, low customer loyalty. This is the five factor of Porter's says in the threat of new and bargaining power of suppliers. Bargaining power of buyers, threat of substitute, rivalry among existing competitors. Although Potter originally introduced five forces affecting an industry, scholars have suggested including the six forces, and the six forces is complements. Then complements is the another forces. Complements increase the demand of the primary product with which they are used. So, sort analysis or products, five forces is a study undertaken by an organization to identify its internal threat and weakness as well as its external opportunities and threat that is internal factor is strength and weakness and external forces opportunity and threat At the end of my class, enjoy it. We pray for everyone, Almighty. I am requesting you to stay at home and be safe. And and short analysis is there are four factor. Strength and weakness is an internal factor, an external factor, opportunity and threat.